Hi guys, welcome back to the React Chase video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the components. So when you start with the React, then you will see there is a lots of places versus the component. What is that? We have why we have to expo uh, extend this. Okay. So first of all, let's see what is the components. Uh, this is the basic website structure. You can see that and here some parts like header, component, uh, uh, navigation main component sidebar and footer so when you work with the react so you will be divide your code into the small chunks or the small units and these units are basically the components so for example we will make a component for header uh, uh, differently uh, for navigation differently and main component sidebar and the footers and the benefit of this and we can reuse them uh, for example let's say uh, we have a sidebar and we want to put your in half of the screen and half of the screen note all right so uh, we will make a separate file for the sidebar and where we have to put that we can put this and we can reuse this simply all right so now let's start with the code then how we can make the new component for that just go to the uh, your editor and just create a new file with the name of let's say home.js and one more thing i will I mean, uh, I am going to tell you about then why sometimes we have to import without bracket and sometimes we have to with brackets. All right. So now let's get start. So first of all, just import React. From sorry. Uh, you can see that the React is okay so simply react and uh, you have to uh, import the component also so why we have to component like uh, inside the bracket uh, not uh, without bracket I will tell you just wait for a minute okay then after after that you can just start with the class and let's say you can make the class with the same name of your file home extends components simply and now just make a render function uh, we will talk about the render function in the next video all right so before th uh, that also we have to uh, use the return all right so let's say I want to put a text here with the h1 tag all right so just after making this we have to import it for import then you can simply write here export default and your class name all right and now this you can simply import here import home from home you don't need to put the dot uh, js class extension also here so just i'm just going to remove it for now and going to put your home component simply and now let's check out the screen then you can see that home component is there nice so this is the way now uh, let's learn why we have to use the component inside the bracket and all all right so for that the reason is when we are just making the component if we are going to export it defaultly that then we can directly use this uh, like uh, react or home and when we are not going to to export it defaultly then we have to use the brackets all right the reason being uh, maybe in some files we have to import more than uh, we have to write the one more than one component then only one component can be uh, export as a default other components we have to export normally and we have to put the bracket to use them all right so for example I'm just going to export one more component export room from uh, okay, just uh, make a class with that. Room extends and 
just copy it and paste it here to save the time all right so so room one okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to do use a bracket here and i, I can just simply write room and here i can uh, just type a room here also and now let's see then now you can see that we got the room component also here and you can make whatever uh, whenever you want to make then it's possible so let's say if you want to use the room one let's say room two then you can also write the room two also if you want or you can want to okay so just, just go with that Alright, so this is about the components, how we can use the components in React JS. In the next video, the actually uh, there is a two kind of component that we can use with the class or without the class. So in this video, we just use the class and in the next video, we will use the components with the functional type. Alright, so thanks guys. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we will learn something more. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video.